Okay, I don't usually do videos like this, but I felt I needed to respond to some of the negative comments that I've been reading from all the Xbox and Nintendo fanboys. Now, for those saying it's a Smash Brothers ripoff, no fucking shit, Sherlock. That is almost the whole point. Since Smash Brothers first launched, other consoles have had few opportunities to experience an arena brawler of its kind. I believe a Ninja's Turtles game had the setup and so does an upcoming Cartoon Network mashup. Now those games aren't ripoffs per se, they are just simply designed to target a specific fan base while making it their own. Now what Sony is working on doing is taking that concept, matching it and then taking it to the next level. Some of you guys are making all these comments based off the first couple hours of footage. Can you imagine what we'll see before it's launched? Calling it a ripoff would be like calling any first person shooter a Doom ripoff or any current console an Odyssey ripoff. If competing developers never attempt their own versions of games and genres, the industry wouldn't be the way it is. No genres would exist. We'll just have to wait for a specific game to release a sequel every couple of years. Can you imagine if the only fighting game on the market was Street Fighter? No Tekken, Mortal Kombat, or Marvel vs. Capcom, just one game of its kind and gameplay style. What if only one team was allowed to create RPGs or first person shooters? That would be the dumbest shit ever. Do you realize that there has only been three Smash Brothers games in the last 13 years? Not to mention one in the last 10 years? And even that one was over four years ago. If you guys want to wait around for the next Smash game, which just recently started being developed, then you guys can do that. I, on the other hand, will be playing PlayStation All-Stars. The only reason you guys are so upset is because Smash was probably what you brought up the most during your Nintendo fanboy rants. During the rest of this video, I will discuss many reasons to look forward to the release this holiday of PlayStation All-Stars. I will start with the roster. Now let me make it clear that I am a huge fan of the Smash franchise since it launched in 1999. I'm sure many of you die-hard fanboys can't even tell me what the original Smash commercials were like without searching them up. Now, let me also make it clear that I would trust and take PlayStation All-Stars final rosters over any Smash roster. I've seen people write that Sony has no original IPs or characters that would make this kind of game interesting. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Nintendo doesn't have many original characters or IPs from the last 12 years. Are people forgetting that Sony has been dominating with original IPs and characters for over a decade now? Jack and Dexter, Ratchet and Clank, fucking Sackboy Cradles, and Nathan Drake? If they aren't enough, what about the fact that third party characters have been confirmed? Considering one of the developers have gone out their way to say for s that Sony's For Michael ad from late last year was foreshadowing PlayStation All-Stars, I think it's safe to expect the possibility of fan favorites like Izio from Assassin's Creed, Isaac from Dead Space, Agent 47 from Hitman, Ghost from Modern Warfare, and even Paul from Tekken. If that doesn't scream variety, I do not know what does. The footage released thus far shows that they are determined to give some unique advantages to each character. Also, considering not many companies can release a game of this caliber, I see many publishers wanting to get a piece of the action and getting one of their established stars in the game. With current gen technology, the possibility of DLC is huge. Imagine having a fresh batch of fighters and stages six months after release. Which leads me to the next topic. I think the roster is going to be huge. There was a picture from Superbot's studio that showed Parappa the Rapper on an index card that was on top of a stack of index cards. Now it doesn't mean that all those characters or index cards are characters that are going to be in the game, but it definitely could mean that it's at least ideas for characters and I'm telling you the stack was huge now people have to remember that this will be on a blu-ray disc for PS3 not a cartridge or a Wii disc 
Don't get me wrong. Again, I love Smash's engines and graphics. But this game has the opportunity to feel completely next gen compared to any Smash game. I already see elements in the first footage released that suggest Superbot is making this game with fresh ideas to the genre in addition to the ones that we would expect. The team itself was developed for this game, specifically for this game. It consists of people with a variety of backgrounds in the business including Mortal Kombat and even UFC Undisputed. I believe they said each character has about two dozen moves and the way the supers work have been popularized by some of the biggest fighting games this generation has seen. Just imagine going through every character with the element of surprise to what their three supers will be. All while running on 60 frames per second and HD. I expect there to be more than one kind of match or game type. So with that in mind, just imagine the online multiplayer aspect and tech. Now considering Sony has plenty mature rated franchises, there will be an aspect of this game that can't ever be in a Nintendo game. I saw a comment somewhere, <laughs> Mario kills turtles, Kratos kills gods. That is a perfect example of what I mean. With that, Sony also has plenty of options for friendly characters like Crash Bandicoot, Sly Cooper, Parappa the Rapper, Spyro, and many more. The final list should be full of variety, styles, and options. For the people saying Xbox should work on their, their version next, I think we all know it would consist of Marcus versus Master Chief in different Halo and Gears of War's environments. Sony stages will be hybrids of multiple games, keeping the action fresh and unpredictable and nostalgic. And how fucking cool is it that we only have to wait a couple of months to own it? I believe Smash and Nintendo games are usually based off what will sell more in the Japanese market. Sony listens to their fans and tries to please everyone while pushing the bar. Anyways, I could talk forever on the possibilities. Not to mention, it's the first game in the franchise. Usually it takes a couple years to develop that first game and then they can't be shitted out every two years or so with multiple improvements. I expect the future to be even better and I expect this game to be the shit. You don't like it? Don't buy it. Continue sharing your Wii code to play a game from 2008 or wait till 2015-ish for the next Smash so you can play as Jigglypuff on a system that resembles current gen specs. Again, like I said, I'm a fan of Smash Brothers. But I think any fan, any true fan of Smash Brothers that's not just trying to be a fanboy will be excited at some kind of competition in the genre. It's a great business move and I can't wait. Thanks for watching or listening to my video. Subscribe if interested. It's a gaming channel. And yeah, can't wait for more information. Peace.